Good night boys and welcome to the channel. I was not even planning on making a video today. I was out doing some other things, driving the C4 as normal, not being gentle on her, many trips to Mexico and all that good stuff. But it would appear as though the C4 has suffered some type of horrible injury and now I don't think she's uh, working right. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. That is if she even turns on. Uh, she seems to not even want to idle, so I guess we'll see. But push in the clutch, turn your key. Okay, she is idling, so that's something. Before, she wouldn't even do that, but listen to that noise. I mean, I don't know that much about cars, but that cannot be good. I should say, I don't know a lot about the mechanics of cars and how to fix them, but that sounds terrible. Make sure this is open all the way. doesn't sound that bad when you have the hood open no oil or anything spilling out I don't know oh there it is that definitely doesn't sound good though that can't be good and it's not like a pulley or anything moving around it's definitely something in here But luckily, I know someone who can fix it, and he will be so excited to know that he will be working on this car. Andy. Andy? Michael, what'd you break? Uh, I think I broke my C4. Okay. Can you Why fix you it? Me? <laughs> can you fix it, Andy? I don't know how to fix C4, sorry. <laughs> Andy, I need you. you. Know, at, at this point, I don't even work on Corvettes anymore. It's knocking, like, terribly, and it doesn't want to idle know, anymore. It's not the best thing ever happened to it. Is, is it knocking? Yeah, it's knocking pretty good. It's not like blew the fucking motor up, dude. It might have blown it up, dude. That's, that's really sad. Uh, maybe you got a, a bum lifter, you know what I mean? Maybe a lifter took a dump. Hopefully just that. Yeah, when I let off the gas, like, it, it always popped, but now it pops like yeah. crazy. Does it feel like it has, like, a misfire or something? Dude, yeah, it has no power. Like, you mash the gas and it doesn't go anywhere. All right, Andy, well, thank you for your help. And uh, no problem. I'll talk to you soon. Well, since I didn't really have anything planned for the day, we're going to finish up this video with a Q&A. As always, I post up a picture on Instagram and I say, ask your questions below. So if you'd like to follow along and participate in the next one, feel free to follow me at StreetSpeed717. And here we go. We are going to start at the top. Nolan Fisher 23 where is the Volkswagen at? My Volkswagen Corrado is in storage. Nothing... Uh, nothing fishy going on with it just sitting there waiting for you know the right time i don't really have anything i, I want to do to it right now i do have wheels and tires uh, sitting in the garage oh i wasn't supposed to say that Corrado mods will be coming soon blake k r spec 9 what optic you run on the scar the picture uh, that i put on instagram was of my gun um it's just a cheap little like i think it's called bearsk it's a uh, like some off-brand acog it works for the shooting i do which is like very amateur once a month you know i, I felt like i didn't need a $1,300 Trigicon, as cool as that would be. Uh, CJ underscore Chico, when will you get a train horn for the Duramax? I would love to have a train horn. They are so obnoxious, but so awesome, and it would fit that truck well. But the whole thing about the tank and the all the lines, it's kind of a bitch to install, but someday. Mike the Cool Guy, are you going to Rob Ferretti's YouTuber race thing? I'm not sure if I was invited to Rob Ferretti's Project Car Challenge. I know that he is coming to my event on the 28th. Um, if I'm invited, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I would do something like that. Kyle Tallman 12, are you my dad? I don't think so. Fred 6631 E63 or M5. Uh, I don't really know the difference. I'm not a big BMW guy. I got to tell you. Bashar.eid, are you buying a Lamborghini Huracan? I would love to buy a Lambo Huracan. And if I was going to buy an exotic supercar, um, even though my vet will outrun most supercars out there, uh, it would be a Huracan. I actually like McLarens more, but they're too delicate. They're too finicky. You can't drive the fuck out of them. Whereas, like Parker has shown, 
you can take a Huracan and really abuse it. And that's what I need. You know, I buy my cars to drive them. Hayden underscore J underscore 27. What is next for the Dirty Max? Well, we got the wrap reveal coming up in like two days. Khalees 6, are you ever going to put your girlfriend in a video? From a security standpoint, don't think it's a good idea. Also, I'm not into the whole like using your, your girlfriend for views thing. So that's not something I'm ever going to do. And it's a car channel. It's not like a family vlogging channel for me some people do it that's fine david underscore rb34 what are your thoughts on the kneeling nfl players are doing i think it's so stu the whole thing is so stupid and trump should have never addressed it and you know they should just like 25 harleys driving by i cannot for the life of me figure out how kneeling for the national anthem for a football game helps anybody who's been discriminated against how that helps racism, how that helps any other issue other than the fact that it's creating the issue of talking about kneeling at the anthem. It doesn't create any other discussion. So I don't understand what the point of it is. But at the same time, you know, if those guys feel like it's important, you know, I don't want to say like, oh, fuck you and you're a terrible person. You know, I think that many of them have said, you know, this is not about being disrespectful. It's not about uh, being against the military, which I believe. I don't believe that these guys are out here and they hate America or, you know, they're against the military. I don't believe that for a second. The fact that it's even an issue is so fucking stupid. Where the hell is I at? Nicholas Peppers, are you still going to get the mid-engine Corvette? Absolutely. Snowcat SRT, do you miss the Hellcat? I really don't. You know, the Z06 does everything that the Hellcat does and a lot more. Bamiko54, would you ever make a video of you and Andy and everyone else fucking around in the gym? I don't think so. This is not a workout channel. I did make a gym video with our spec Ryan and Jake and Bobby way back in the day on the MVT channel. 717 Famous, why do I always open Instagram right after you post? I'm not sure. Nsaurus22, dream car other than the vet uh, would be either a Lambo or a McLaren. Speed Dream 717 Famous Street Drive 420. That's his whole name, by the way. Uh, that's wonderful. Have you ever smoked the Mary Jane? I have not. Mikey Liberty, what color will the 2018 ZR1 be? I'm not sure. If they had like a light green or a light blue, I would love to get that color. But knowing Chevy, the only colors that will be available will be boring normal ones. So I might just have to get yellow once again. M. Lindine, do you like any other kinds of monster besides white? Not really. I only like the white one. That's racist. JR Garage YouTube, when are you going to invest in my lemonade stand? I thought for sure that this was somebody's uh, trolling account, but it actually is, Jeffrey. So, Jeff Jeffrey, I will invest in the lemonade stand at any time. Here's a good one and something I want to talk about. JRG underscore 1996. Who is confirmed for the call out? Well, confirmed, we got Rob Ferretti, we got Salamandra, we got Cletus McFarland and a ton of other people. But I want to extend an invite to some more people right here, right now in the Q&A so you can let them know. Tommy Effia, I recently found his channel after a lot of people told me about it. Unfortunately, I know his car just got wrecked by some guy in a Jeep, which sounds about right. But, um, you know, I'd like for you to come out. I don't know if you can get your car fixed in time or whatever car you want to bring, that would be great. And the guys from Haggard Garage, uh, you're more than welcome to come too. I know some people wanted to come last time and we had a very, the thing about last time was that we had a very limited amount of people we were told that was allowed to come. And the track, uh, when they saw how many people were showing up was like, yeah, actually, if you give us 200 bucks, you can race. And it was really underhanded, made us look bad, wasn't happy with it. They assure us that that's not gonna happen again, but the good part about this time is that we are allowed to have a lot more people racing from the get-go. Jacob Walker 17, are you going to turbo the new Z06? I am not. Guy.ton, how many hours a week do you work at a regular job? YouTube is my job. Matt.RAS6789 replied and said, none, you are correct. Scroll down here, a lot of similar questions, trying to find something a little bit different. Bobby Davidson 7, would you consider a Mopar as one of your new cars? I don't think so. They have the Demon, the Viper is discontinued. I would be more likely to get a Viper, which of course is now has gone bye-bye, so we can't do that. Wes Gonzalez, what's your plans for the new Z06 drag car? RP Productions, another person that is confirmed for the call-out. Are you doing your cardio for our foot race? Uh, I don't do cardio. So, Rich, are you doing any performance mods to the C4? Well, I was going to do something very drastic, but uh, this whole situation right now kind of... Uh Put a damper on that. Would you ever consider getting a Nissan GTR? Absolutely not. And here's a good one to end on. Alfredo underscore zero is Andy Gay. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this upload. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day. Hey, the good news is we got new drag radials for the 17 for the call out.